Good morning, John. I did a search on Twitter yesterday, just four words, Hank, John, Green, and Sane. And I kind of have a lot to say about the fact that a lot of people think that we are the same person. I want to argue that, number one, this isn't all bad. And two, it might, it might be that we are actually a little bit the same person, and that's why people are confused. We'll get there. First, as to why it might be a little bit of a good thing here, Ciara says it well. I was like, wow, so versatile, which is something that I would both love to be and also like people to think about me. So, hey, one thing I noticed when I was going through the amazing analytics that Alexander Daly put together for the vlog for this channel was that like you and I are good at different things. The videos with the most views are more likely to be mine, while the videos with the best like to dislike ratio are almost always yours. That's reflective of a reality, both that like you and I have different skills, but also that we're we're energized by different things. I think it's safe to say that you're often kind of reining me in while I'm often kind of drawing you out. So it's nice to not just like have double the amount of time in having this partnership, but also different interests and skills. This is why people work together. And in order to work together, to some extent, it's very helpful to have a shared identity. And that's the other thing here, because we have been doing this together for so long, and because our careers are tied together, and our our community is tied together, our content is tied together, we are tied together in a way that is, I think, really healthy. This kind of shared identity where like the success of one person is the same as the success of the other. I think some people might find it weird, but I, I bet you that it is actually w historically the opposite thing is weird, where we only consider our own success as our success. But I'll tell you, it's definitely nice because when you succeed, I don't feel any competition toward that because I feel like it is my success. In fact, it's kind of better than my success. John, I just got your book in the mail and I sort of started leafing through it to like look for some of the Easter eggs, which have been fun to find. But then I've started reading it. And then I, an hour went by and I had read a, quite a lot of it. I was surprised by how easy it was to get sucked in. I think a big part of that is that I imagine us as, as having a lot of joined identity and yet, there's a lot about you I don't know. And having gone through a bit of it, what it feels like to me right now, like the biggest sensation I have is that it feels like a success. And obviously that is not my success, and yet I still feel really good about it. This is something that is very good when you are connected enough to a person that their success, which they are experiencing in really complicated ways where they're gauging whether it's enough success or not, or whether it's legitimate success or whatever we do to try and diminish our own accomplishments, you experience in a very simple way. Look at this amazing thing that this person made. I don't have to think about all of the work that went into it, about whether it was worth that work. All I have to think is, wow, this is a book that isn't like any other book ever, ever, ever. And yet it does a thing that is so extremely hard to do. It's almost like, you're really good at this. And if someday people think I wrote it, or they think that you make science videos, awesome! Being an individual is really hard and I have to do it almost all the time. And so to know that there are people's heads in which I'm not doing it, it's a little bit of a relief. And to know that in reality, there are ways that I share my identity with you and my parents and my wife and my son. And I get to share not just the time that I have as an individual, but my very imagining of my identity, my imagining of my individuality, that it includes those people. To realize that I am often imagining myself as more than just one person, which I think is actually pretty reflective of the reality of what humans are. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.